Welcome back to my St. Louis Live. Each year, I feel like as a society, we are learning more and more about mental health and many people are embracing therapy. As we adults figure it out, think about your kids for a moment. How is their mental health? And how do you know how to answer that question? I'm a journalist, I'm not an expert on this, but luckily Jamie Hymos is. Jamie is a mom and a licensed professional counselor for kids and teens at Balance and Bloom Counseling in Wildwood. Jamie, good to see you again. Hi. So we talk about kids being so different these mm -hmm. days because they have so many devices, so many distractions. Yes. In your opinion, mm -hmm. are kids today like you and I were and our parents were, or are they really that different? Well, I think they're similar, but they're facing different challenges. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the information that they can gather is so public now. We can find answers very quickly on the internet. We can also post a lot of information, mm -hmm. screenshots um, and pictures, things like that on the internet. And those are easily accessible to kids. So I think that the, the challenges that they're facing are just a little bit different to navigate than that, what we experience. That's a really good point. And thinking back to growing up, I, I don't know about you, but I just don't remember mental health being a, a topic at home, mm -hmm. be a topic at school, see a topic we saw on TV. Mm -hmm. But today, that really is a thing we're talking about a Definitely. lot. So how do we talk about mental health with our kids. Mm -hmm. So I do think that you're right. We didn't talk about it as much, but I definitely feel like a lot of my clients, they talk about, oh, my friend's therapist and their therapist. <laughs> so it's definitely something that they're talking about a lot more. I think opening up that conversation with parents though, and making sure that we're talking about these things from an early age, mm -hmm. but also expressing to them, hey, I've had this challenge and what helped me was talking to a mental health professional and sharing our experiences. Um, with how that's helped support our mental health. And it's so interesting that you say some of the kids you see say, well, my friend's therapist <laughs> says. So how do parents know it's time mm -hmm. to take that step for their kids to seek out a therapist? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's always great. We're always dealing with a transition in life. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely think that whenever we're facing a challenge of maybe we're noticing different behaviors in our in our kids or if we're noticing different choices that they're making or maybe they're starting to withdraw a little bit. Those are definitely some big signs that, hey, maybe we need to just at least start talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's also important to note that we have to make sure that our kids are willing to talk to somebody before we just sign them up for therapy. Having that conversation of this is what it's like and maybe that might be something that's helpful for you to have somebody outside of the home to kind of chime in. I think you were reading my mind because that was a question <laughs> that I was yeah. going through just yeah. thinking, okay, I know my son's pretty young, but eventually, <laughs> is this something I, I just mm -hmm. do, kind of like swim lessons and say I we're mean. doing it, or or have that conversation yeah. with him yeah. beforehand? Yeah, I mean, at early ages, we can do emotion expression mm -hmm. and facial recognition and things like that, and that's a really great way to start that social-emotional learning mm -hmm. in young ages, but um, I, I think that it kind of just comes with time. Maybe mm -hmm. we notice that, hey, there's this big thing going on in our family or we're starting elementary school, we're starting middle school, and those are just big changes for kids. And that's what I was thinking. Big transition times mm -hmm. might be hard mm -hmm. to deal with mm -hmm. and maybe having your child speak to someone else yes. yeah. could be beneficial. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being part of, of my course. mom club. Yes. She makes it easy to understand. And friends, <laughs> we need to hear more from you. This exact topic came from a viewer and we would like more topics to discuss. So pl please send me a topic to talk about on my mom club by emailing me at laura.hediger at kmlv.com.